Open AI yesterday made a huge announcement. Chat GPT can now see, hear and speak. What does this mean? This means that Chat GPT is now going to come up with new voice and image capabilities. So the interface is going to become more intuitive by allowing you to have a voice conversation. Okay. Or you can show Chat GPT what you are talking about. Okay. Uh, so here is an example where you know there is this image of the clouds you are pointing out your camera and say these clouds are caused by and then chat gpt tries to answer it right so with this feature now you can snap a picture of a landmark while traveling and you can have a live conversation about what's interesting about it you can snap a picture of your fridge and pantry to figure out what you can do for dinner and then do a you know step by step recipe can chat gpt can answer it right chat gpt can you can just take a photo of a math problem and you can circle the problem set and you know chat gpt can share hints with you right so this makes this totally multimodal and you know very user um, intuitive right so they have some examples over here of using voice to engage in a back and forth conversation with your assistant right uh, they have examples of you know voice samples over here uh, they have examples about you know how you can chat with your images right you can troubleshoot why your grill won't start so this opens up so many opportunities right you are working on a laptop and it freezes suddenly with an error and you just show your mobile and then you know it can point out what kind of error is there on your laptop right uh, it can be used for troubleshooting your equipment you know opens up huge possibilities right you are walking on a road you are looking at you are traveling somewhere you are looking at some interesting um, sculpture or an interesting building and you want to get more details about the architecture and other things right so uh, you can interact with chat gpt so this is very interesting so this is enabled by, uh, you know, image understanding is powered by multimodal GPT 3.5 and GPT 4. These models apply their language reasoning skills to a wide range of images such as photographs, screenshots, documents containing both text and images. So they are gradually deploying the image and voice capabilities. Uh, that is what they are saying over here. And if you look at uh, this particular uh, this thing, uh, they would slowly start releasing these features over the next two weeks. Okay, voice and images will come to plus and uh, enterprise users. Voice is coming on iOS and Android and images will be available on all platforms. Okay, so this is interesting. And now with more and more people uh, using these images, they will get more training data and the system will improve over time. Right. Uh, they are also, they also have a red, uh, they are red teamers right who will actually uh, check for uh, you know various domains um, to check for risks and mitigations okay so they uh, so this thing is actually uh, you know uh, uh, enabled by something called as gpt with vision right uh, so you have this uh, gpt with vision system cart over here so GPT-4 with vision enables users to instruct GPT-4 to analyze image inputs provided by the user. And this is the latest capability which they are making uh, broadly available. So this paper talks about the safety and other evaluations and mitigations of this GPT with vision model. Okay. Uh, so they are talking about their collaboration with Be My Eyes uh, and OpenAI. They collaborated to develop Be My AI new tool to describe the visual world for people who are blind to or have low vision. And based on the images which have been and descriptions which they have got from them, right, using that Be My uh, AI tool, uh, they are now addressing using this. They are addressing other uh, um, you know risks and mitigations. That is what they are uh, saying over here. Because Be My Eyes wants it testers and future not to rely on this for safety and health issues like reading prescriptions and other things. So with this collaboration, they could actually improve this GPT-4 with vision. And here they have given further details on the evaluation about harmful content, privacy and lot of other things over here. So you can possibly look into this paper to understand more about the GPT-4 vision. This thing. Okay. So what they say is that GPT-4 early demonstrates the model's early performance for some jailbreak prompts and other things and how it avoids that, right? It says that I cannot provide information on that 
topic earlier it used to provide information right and then they have some more examples over here of you know mistakes which are done by gpt4 uh, with vision right about medical advice and things like that okay certain unreliable performance and other things they are showing over here so how they have evaluated and other things okay right so here uh, there is this image the early prompt gpt4 early right uh, so there is a picture of this woman over here and it's about uh, you know gpt4 early was talking about body positivity and other things right uh, it can be considered discriminatory or it can be considered as uh, hateful content but gpt4 with vision the launched one which is currently launched says i cannot help with that so this is how they are improving the safety of this gpt4 with vision okay for more details i will be putting the link of this paper in the description of the video you can check it out i will be putting the link to this particular announcement as well you can check it out so this was a short video on chat gpt which can now see hear and speak very interesting development right um, opens up a lot of possibilities for users let's see how it goes once we get access to this uh, features i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video